If you still have not bought your tree, don't worry. Jason Cochran from WalletPop.com has the facts on getting the right tree at the right price. Did I get the, that right? The WalletPop. WalletPop.com. Very good. All right. Uh, Christmas tree prices this year are? They're actually about what they were last year. Some good news, right? All right. So it's about $8 to $10 per foot Christmas tree. So about 6 feet, 48 to $60. Usually, that's most places. You know, in the city, it can be a little bit more. Yeah, in the city, on the sidewalks here, you can really yeah, get hosed. 20 bucks a foot here. You can get hosed if you don't know what yeah. you're doing. Uh, one of the things you absolutely have to remember, if you're buying a tree from a lot, is what? That saw. Yeah, see, these things have usually arrived on a truck. They're drying out by the time you get them, mm -hmm. and the sap in the trunk has started to cauterize. It can't drink. Right. So you've got to make sure the tree can drink if you want it to stay fresh. You want that great smell. So you, when you, you cut off about a half an inch of the trunk, the minute you get it home, right. and they'll do it there too. You can do it twice. It doesn't hurt. Right. And you're keep it wet. A quarter, uh, maybe a quarter or a gallon of water every single day, this thing will drink. Yeah, I tell you, I've been, we've had our tree up for, what, almost two weeks now, and that thing is drinking like crazy. Yeah. You cannot water. More than enough. you think. Yeah. Uh, now, if you're thinking, because you can still do this, there's plenty of time to do it, to go to a Christmas tree farm, how do you find... Oh, right. The right There's farm. a Christmas tree farm network, actually, and they have a website. How it's cool is that? Christmas-tree.com. You can search for one near you. I recommend oh, going to one that's a little further out from the city. Again, they yeah. tend to be less expensive than the mm -hmm. ones where this people come out from the city. Yeah. Um, you might find a really good deal far from the city. Near the city, it's really about the hot cocoa and, and having the fun of the kids like that family we just saw had. You know, that is really a cool experience, though, because you wander around and you find the right one. In some place, Christmas tree farms, they give you the saw yourself that you you can go out and really yeah, cut it down make yourself. sure it's straight. Otherwise, you'll have to cut it again if you get it crooked. <laughs> you'll, it takes some practice if you haven't done it done it before. Now, the other thing we saw that in, in, the, in Taryn's piece that you can actually get them delivered. Sure, yeah, it's convenient. How does that work? Not necessarily the cheapest option in most cases. Right. Oh, there's, I mean, the major retailers, smaller ones, uh, t I think Target, Costco, Home Depot, a lot of them will deliver for you. A lot of them have had their cut off earlier this week for ah, this year. Right. So uh, now it's the smaller guys that you might find at Christmas-tree.com that will right. deliver for you. But, you know, you're going to pay probably two or three more times more right. than you would have if you just picked it up yourself. And to speak, speaking of which, trend every year is more and more people are buying artificial trees. What are you paying for artificial tree these I days? I think they start, uh, for something my height, I'm about six, it's about $150. Mm -hmm. And again, Home Depot sells both real and artificial trees. But, you know, you want it nicer, you want it fuller, you want it, you know, maybe uh, with the lights embedded, prices go up from $150. Yeah, significantly. But, you know, it pays for itself in a year or two. Very, very yeah. much so. On the other hand, but you don't have the fragrance and all this tradition. There and are all ways that. around it, but they're chemical. Here, the other thing, the big trend now is to for people to buy trees that are living that are living plants. I right? love this idea, actually. You know, what's it's your first Christmas together as a family or anniversary, or even actually any time at all? You just get a potted tree. Mm -hmm. uh, that way, it stays alive all during the season, and then the season's over. You plant it in the yard. You keep it. You remember that memory, very and nice. it's also better for the environment. You don't, you know, you don't have to recycle it. You don't have to throw it away. Good job. Jason Cochran, thank you very much.